Hello, this is Victor, RestoreYourMercedes.com, Mr. Lasus, this is the video for you. So like I promised, I'm going to show you what's going on over here with the original throttle body and now why I don't like it. As you can see, I cleaned it up pretty nicely, it did clean up nice, um, you know, it shines and all, but um, that's just a shell, I mean, that you can clean this up to be brand new, but internals is what is what's important. Now. The motor seems to be okay, so I'm not going to accent much attention to the motor. Uh, here is where the brains are. Okay, so this is all looks clean as well, but we're not concerned about the case because again, case is just uh, just a case, you know, whatever it is. Um, the plate was not too bad, so that's okay. Now the first thing is when I open it up, I mean, I see this. So this one was okay. This is the return spring. It looks all right, but then we go with the main gear as you can see the main gear has this black spots over here that's not nice okay so this is like the overheat kind of first sign so you don't really want to see this all right so you flip it on the other side so you can see lots of um, black stuff this is dust rust and heat all of that stuff so that's not great now you got the coil uh, the coil doesn't seem to be overheated it seems like it still has some life left in it but um it is what it is so i took it out just to see but it works but i don't know i mean you still want to fix it if you take it out here is the coil holder so this is your rust over here this is this is i mean it's not terrible it's it doesn't matter this could have been all cleaned off you see the coil sits here <coughs> you know with these with these little lips here one and two you see how it was clean in the area right here and here where the lips are so this is where the coil sits but this is a little rusty so I mean I, I could have cleaned it and whatever but that was not my major concern again this is the other side which is also cleaned off well but it's not the concern that I'm having well, the, sec first, uh, the second side of the unit, another side of the unit is, this is the slider, and I did send you pictures, as you can see out there um, in your phone, I sent you some pictures of the brushes, and if I may make this a close-up, let's see if it focuses on these brushes, maybe like this. I don't know, it doesn't want to see them. I put my finger here. It focuses on the finger, but as you can see, they're completely flat. They're like flat done. Um, they're not even evenly worn. Like right here, as you can see, there is like a groove. So this is not a good sign. This is not a very important piece though. More important piece will be here. These are these are the brains basically taken all apart. Just some bolts and nuts in there. So the surface is decently okay. I don't have much of a problem with the actual surface. Um, you know, not not too deep of grooves, just on the in the beginning here, just a little bit, but not a big deal. But if you compare the picture of the case, this case and the picture that I send you, you will see that this one is more yellow. That means that it's been running hot. And same problem here with brushes. So when you see these brushes low, right? So you want to look what what these brushes look like. If these are okay, then um, we can still be in good shape. But these are already going low. This is halfway already. Usually these don't wear out as much as the ones that I showed you before. But as you can see, they're not straight. See these little it's little hairs here. Come on, focus, please. <coughs> um, and of course it does not want to focus okay here better focus so we see these these are also uneven uh, I can make 
them live these are kind of like halfway I can make them live but you know since this goes all the way to France I don't want to take any chances all right so I don't like them that's it that's all it is I mean I can make them work but um, you know because if the unit would have been very rare like v12 or something I actually just did brains on a v12 here's the brain for the v12 here that is rare and very hard to find so just to compare those brushes if you if you can see them in there I don't know if you may those are really nice I sourced them from a used unit with low miles because these were also flat as pancakes uh, yeah you, you can't really see them unfortunately but they're obviously there but this this unit is extremely expensive so you're gonna do whatever you can to fix it the brush is down deep in there then right there so obviously this is like a good unit is about 1500 sometimes 2000 so it ranges the price depending on the miles so obviously this is not as expensive so we might as well just go ahead and and um, <clears throat> do what we gotta do here is the unit that I'm that I have found for you this is my other customers unit this is not really brushed this is just cleaned with chemicals and that how clean that is how clean it came off you see there is a little bit of greenish still left there because I didn't use any kind of harsh mechanical cleaning so as you can see this unit is excellent condition internally it's perfect there is no rust you saw some pictures so um, it just makes more sense for us to just go, go ahead and just use this one this is the good unit with Teflon cables already I sent you a picture of that as well it was a dealer replacement unit the customer bought and car got into the accident and um, I did the wiring harness for him I think he saw that already but the unit is the second thing that was left that he wanted to sell and this is the underside of the unit it's an excellent shape so and internals I already sent you pictures of internals so this is basically where we are I'm um, testing this unit right now because the plate has to be realigned and I have to also look at the um, the tension on the potentiometer that's important because you don't want it to be too tight you're gonna you're gonna wear it out faster than usual so that is why it's gonna be on the bench overnight and then tomorrow I take it apart again and check it all out before I mail it but it already worked fine when I first got it but I just want to tweak it just a bit because I know that the plate is grinding and that has to be aligned up properly so I'm gonna have to do it uh, when I run a test on it overnight so once that's done then we're going to end up with a nice unit being mailed to you uh, okay one more shot of these brushes here and then we're gonna basically call it a day you can see there's no bend to them they just totally flat no good so yeah I mean I got it to work it did work don't get me wrong it did work but on the bench test it did shut off and that is a big red flag because uh, once unit is energized it's supposed to just run and run and run all night long all day long whenever until power is cut off and this unit right here it was running and then it shut off I did check the codes the codes came for the brain and that is also a red flag so you don't really want to have you don't want to take any chances that's my point okay so this is all for me I'm going to make you a final video of the unit after bench test the activation all you know complete readings the values and voltages and all that and it will be ready to go all right so this is all for me for now this is victor at restoreyourmercedes.com thank you for watching